more exciting as a parent. Mm -hmm. Y'all put in work, y'all put in overtime. At Grimsley High School in Greensboro, excitement builds as everyone eagerly awaits the final football game of the season, a state title within reach. It's a big deal these guys are going to the state championship, and I know they're going to win it. Um, I have all confidence in these guys. The love for the school, the traditions, and the team runs deep. Everybody that's a part of Worldly Nation plays a part into what it is in a big role. Not, there's no man left out. That's the thing I love about Grimsley. Everybody, you know, it's a big family. That's what it is. And within that big family, there's one in particular with a special bond. Three generations of Grimsley football. Grimsley is still Grimsley. They, they come out win or lose. Grimsley is Grimsley. And that's the part I love. Neil Lane, known in high school as LB, played in the 70s. Receiver and in tight end. His son, Joey Staten, played in the 90s. My dad used to talk about his years playing, and then I got to play. And then now, watching Jaden, um, it's, it's just so exciting. The third branch in this family tree, Jaden, now plays defensive and offensive tackle. Every time I come on this field, I think about them. I think about my dad, you know, those times where he was on this field, and I even took my football picture like him, kneeling, straight face and all. Over the years, they've seen big changes. Did y'all have face masks? Yeah, leather helmets with, with a face mask on it. But as the older generations yeah. remember, one of the biggest changes, just how good this team is. It was great when I played, um, even though we wasn't as good as these guys here now. This is a new world here. Really? Yeah, yeah, this okay. is a new world because they win. <laughs> Sitting in the stands, reminiscing on the past, the exciting plays and the fun memories on the field. <laughs> that, that Ryan right there <laughs> secured the game. All three are hoping for a big win in Chapel Hill. It will be a win tomorrow. Feeling confident that One, it can two, be done. Three. Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.